Hi everyone, my name is Dana Berry, also known as Dana Doodle Knits, and welcome to my vlog. So I started working on this cowl a few weeks ago. It's with yarn that I got from Rhinebeck. It's the Hyder Cowl by Teresa Gregorio, aka Canary Knits, and it is for me a study in why I'm really shit at following patterns. I read patterns, I read them, I do. I read patterns and I look at the pictures and I say, okay, this is what the designer wants me to do. And then I go off and I do that. I do what I think the designer wants me to do, which not all the time is what the designer actually wants me to do. So this doesn't really look much like the Hyder Cowl. So one night on the way back from a friend's party, we were on the train and I was working on this cowl and the lady sitting across from us in this very empty train car was asking me about it, asking me if it was knitting, where I got yarn like that, where she could get yarn like that because she was a crocheter. I told her that she could probably find yarn like this on Etsy. She didn't know what that was. And then she commented that she could probably find something similar on eBay. But out of this entire late night conversation on an empty train car, what stuck with me was her comment about how it would match perfectly with her camo pants. And for some reason that just stuck with me. So the rest of the time I spent knitting this cowl, I couldn't get the image out of my mind of her wearing this cowl with her camo pants and similarly colored shirt and jacket and it just, it just ruined each stitch. I finished it and I was angry at it. I, I just, I couldn't see it in my wardrobe because I just saw this woman wearing it with her camel pants. So kind of jokingly, I put it on my husband and then immediately realized that it looked great on him. The color suited him. I didn't imagine him wearing camel pants and he has been nagging me for a cowl. In order to replace the cowl that was never mine, I started a new cowl. This is the Pine Bow Cowl from Diana Walla. This yarn is the Lush Worsted from the Uncommon Thread and I got it on my trip to London in January. And I also picked this brown, this is just Cascade 220. I started knitting it up and it just, there was something about it that wasn't doing it for me. So I was looking through my stash for something else that might work, a darker brown. I found this single color Noro. So I don't know if you can see the two different colors of brown but on this side is the darker and this side is the redder. I think I like it much much better with this darker brown. I have a few other projects that I'm working on but I think that's it for now. Next time will be Christmas ornaments. Until then you can find me on danadoodlenits.com, on Instagram and Twitter as danadoodlenits, and on Ravelry as danadoodle. And as always, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.